Well, how's it going everybody? Aaron Blevins here with Biscuits by daddy -O. Coming at you today to show you how to make our signature gluten-free biscuit mix. And it's actually incredibly easy. Literally, you need just two things, really. You need our mix. As you can see here, this is our gluten-free biscuit mix by daddy -O. And you need high quality, heavy whipping cream. That's it. So the first thing you want to do when making gluten-free biscuits by daddy -O is to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. This is a critical first step. You want to make sure your oven is hot and ready for you to put your biscuits in once your biscuits are cut out. Um, what I'm going to do here first is just open our mix here. I'm going to dump our mix into the bowl here. Then I'm going to open the heavy whipping cream here. This is a brand new thing of heavy whipping cream. And you'll see on the back that it takes one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to pour my one cup here and pour that in. And then I'm going to pour another half cup here. Pour that in. Then just stir it up. Really is that easy. Uh, we've had a lot of customers mention how uh, it's not really quite like other gluten-free biscuit dough that they have interacted with. And once you kind of get this all combined, um, what I usually do is just scrape this little bit off of the fork here and just kind of get my hands in it and really get all the excess dough in the bowl um, <clears throat> worked in here. And just gonna form a ball here, scrape up all this excess dough here, make sure that it's included. Once I kind of get that formed, I'm going to put it in the back in the bowl here. Okay, once you have your biscuit dough formed into a ball, you want to transition it from your bowl to the surface that you're going to begin flattening the dough out on. So I just have a cutting board here. Um, sometimes you can actually get a little bit of extra mix out on your surface. Um, you can just kind of shake your, your mix bag here on your surface. You don't really need a lot, just enough for you to begin to flatten the dough mixture out like this. And you don't wanna overwork this dough. I'm gonna flatten it one time, turn it over, and then just a couple times you're gonna fold it over like this. One time, and then I actually do it a second time. And then you're just gonna flatten it out again, just like we just did. Turn it over, flatten it a little bit more. The key to this dough to get the really high, thick rise on your biscuit, the, the light, fluffy, thick biscuit, is to not flatten out your dough um, really too thin. You don't wanna make it too thin. You wanna make your actual dough at this stage to be about an inch thick. God gave you a way to really figure out easily what an inch is. Generally, for most people, it's the, the distance between the tip of your, your pointer finger to your first knuckle here. That's generally about an inch. So the test here is you really just wanna put your finger down on the board like this and see if your dough is at or just below is fine, that first knuckle of your pointer finger. So I've got, got our dough here to the point we need it. The next step is you wanna spray a pan. You can use a nonstick pan if you'd like. Um, I use a stainless steel pan. And you wanna just spray your pan to get it all nice and ready. Once you have your pan ready, you're gonna need a biscuit cutter. Now, this is another secret to getting the, the thick fluffy biscuit. You don't wanna use a biscuit cutter that's too wide. Um, you really can use as small a biscuit cutter as you want, but you don't want the, the one, a lot of times these cutters come in, in packets of three or packets of five. This is the two and a half size cutter. You can actually see this here on our upper camera here. Um, if, you, if you use that test again, you can see that this one is roughly about two and a half inches wide. You can see we've got one inch, two inch, and then about a half inch there. So this is a two and a half inch wide, uh, wide cutter. This is the one I use. You can go smaller than this, but do not go bigger than this. Um, this is really the maximum size. To do this correctly, you want to take your cutter and you just want to start on your dough here. And you just want to set it kind of at the edge and then just press down. Don't twist and then lift up. Press down, lift up. Press down, lift up, press down, lift up. You're gonna repeat this step until you have roughly, if you follow these steps, 
you will actually get about 10 biscuits. And so I'm gonna take these biscuits, I'm gonna put them on our pan here. Then we're gonna take our dough here and we're gonna repeat the steps we did earlier. Just gonna kind of flatten it out a little bit, fold it over. When you fold it over like this, you probably guess what this is doing. This is giving you those layers in your biscuits. Um, I don't know if you guys like layery biscuits, um, but this is how you achieve that. So I'm gonna flatten it out again and just repeat the steps with the cutter. And then we're gonna flatten this out one more time. So you'll see we have eight biscuits here. Flatten out again. Nine biscuits. And then I'll just usually flatten it one more time. Get our tenth biscuit and then you can take this extra dough here and you can do whatever you want with this. A lot of people have different names for this extra bit of dough you see here. I um, mean, just throw it on your pan and you're good to go. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna melt some butter for the top of your biscuits. You can take a pastry brush, much like this, and then just paint that melted butter on the top of your biscuits, um, just to where you get it all covered on the top. Once you've completed these steps, you're ready to put your biscuits into the oven. So make sure your oven is hot again and preheated and then you will just literally transfer your biscuits into your oven and then set a timer for roughly 12, 13 minutes. I always like to come back and check it after that point. Um, 12 to 13 minutes, you'll come back, you'll see kind of what state your biscuits are in. I like mine to be a little browner. And there you have it, our gluten-free biscuits by Daddy-O. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy your biscuits. We'd love to hear from you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button on this video, uh, and go check out our other social media channels, all linked in the description down below. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, we would look forward to connecting with you all across the social media sphere. Aaron Blevins here. Thanks so much for watching this video. We will see you in the next one. You cannot beat a good, hot, gluten-free, fluffy, buttery biscuit. Mmm. That is too good.